Welcome from the floor of the House of Representatives in your state capitol. Last week I introduced a bill creating a new WSU Medical School. It has 65 co-sponsors, Republicans and Democrats, from all over our state to ensure that we're creating a healthier Washington and access to the health care that everybody needs. Here are some of the testimony in the House Higher Education Committee. But this is about the whole state supporting a stronger, more vibrant medical school system in Washington. Simply, this would remove a 1917 restriction that limited medical instruction to the University of Washington, an outdated law that created a monopoly. 1917, the year that the Seattle Metropolitans became the first American team to win the Stanley Cup. We will obviously integrate that with telemedicine using the team approach. Um, that is part of the reason why we've been focused on Spokane with the investment that the state has already made in that campus and uh, WSU's Board of Regents designating it as a health sciences campus. We have all of the infrastructure there. The state of Washington is the, the lowest in terms of number of seats per population. So on the undergraduate medical education side, we are in a much uh, worse position than we are even relative to our residency education situation. So um, most other states, um, 21 to be exact, um, many of them smaller than us, have solved their capacity issue around medical education by having more than one medical school. We've already come so far. We've invested in the River Point campus, and this community-based model will do great things for healthcare and providing access to more Spokaneites and more Washingtonians. But there's still a lot of steps in the process. I hope later this year we'll be able to bring the bill to the floor and get it for a vote and pass it over to the Senate. I look forward to bringing this new medical school to a reality for Spokane and for our whole state.